Assalamu alaikum Sebastians. Today's lesson is particularly designed for the students who found the topic of qualitative analysis difficult. Actually it is not a difficult topic. It is a new topic for you. And every new topic needs time and concentration. So in today's lesson I will try to increase your interest in the topic by discussing its importance in real life and in exam and then how to apply your knowledge in answering the question. So let's start with the application in real life. There are several application of qualitative analysis but two important applications are forensic scientists use qualitative chemical analysis to identify substance left at crime scene which can be important in finding out the guilt person. It means the DNA test and the other sort of test these are also example of qualitative analysis. Secondly, medical personnel may use qualitative analysis in test and procedure to treat and diagnose patient. So when we drop our sample, blood sample, urine sample to medical lab and finding the result that what sort of disease we have or are we okay or not. So this is also the result of qualitative analysis. Let me discuss another application. As you know, there are certain ions which are very dangerous, which are poisonous for us. So to check the quality of water that we are drinking, whether it is pure or impure, and if it is impure, what sort of impurity is present in it, that is also performed with the help of qualitative analysis. I hope now you will get the idea why qualitative analysis is important for us. Now let's discuss the importance of qualitative analysis exam point of view. Because in paper 4 a question of minimum 5 or maximum 10 marks comes from the topic of qualitative analysis. Paper 4 is alternative to practical. So you have to write down the observation, test or whatever the asked in the question. And paper 4 is of 60 marks. And out of those 60 marks, if 5 or 10 marks is from qualitative analysis, it means the topic is important. And there are only a few cations and anions are in your syllabus. You have to memorize their identification test and then you have to apply in answering the question. Now I am going to share a table copied from your syllabus. The code of your subject is 5070. This table shows that there are only five anions whose test and result observations you have to memorize in your syllabus and only eight cations whose test and result you have to memorize and there are only two reagents in case of cation aqueous sodium hydroxide and aqueous ammonia but in case of anion we are using different reagents for different anions so you have to memorize their reagents, their observation and you have to memorize it with clear concepts so that you will not mix it. In case of chloride ion you are writing the test for nitrate ion. In case of sulfate ion you are writing the test for chloride ion. So you should not mix these tests. So it is important to memorize this table. I will share this table with you so that you can memorize this table thoroughly. Now I am going to discuss a question from past paper. The paper is October November 2019, paper 4-2. Question is, a student is provided with solutions of aqueous chromium nitrate, aqueous iron 2 chloride, aqueous iron 3 chloride. Student test the three aqueous solution by adding each reagent shown in the table. These are the reagents that are shown. Record the observation in the table, write no reaction where appropriate. Means where there is no reaction, you have to mention that no reaction. It doesn't mean you will just leave the space. Let's identify cation. In chromium nitrate, chromium 3 is cation. In aqueous iron 2 chloride, iron 2 is cation. In aqueous iron 3 chloride, iron 3 is cation. Now let's see in the table, chromium 3 the reagent sodium hydroxide result green precipitate and soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide giving green solution in case of iron 2 green precipitate and iron 3 red brown precipitate insoluble in excess 
anions are nitrate chloride chloride again have a look on the table we have to write the observation that is asked in the question so now let's fill the table in case of aqueous chromium nitrate what is the result when aqueous sodium hydroxide is added it will form green precipitate and in case of excess sodium hydroxide the precipitates are soluble and giving green solution in case of aqueous silver nitrate and dilute nitric acid is added there is no reaction because this reagent is used in identification for chloride and iodide so this reagent is for nitrate aluminum and aqueous sodium hydroxide plus heat which gas is produce ammonia gas and how we test ammonia gas litmus paper test what is the result of test it turns red litmus blue is it clear the second one aqueous iron 2 chloride what will happen when we add aqueous sodium hydroxide in it it will form green precipitate and in excess of aqueous sodium hydroxide it remain insoluble so what will happen when we add silver nitrate and dilute nitric acid it will form white precipitate and in case of this reagent there is no reaction because this reagent is particularly used for nitrate ion so we have to write no reaction third one aqueous iron 3 chloride again when by adding sodium hydroxide brown precipitate excess of sodium hydroxide the precipitates are insoluble and in the third reagent identification of anion chloride ion white precipitate and in the last column there is no reaction so how is it is it difficult or easy what you have to do is just practice 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 from past paper will make you perfect in solving this table now what is your homework those who haven't submitted the previous homework regarding identification cation anion i request to all those please fill the table and submit me as soon as possible and the next homework is i copied this table from the paper of may june 2019 it is paper 41 you have to complete this table now you will see that this table is a little bit different from the previous one because here they are giving observation and test in different column so what we have to write we have to fill the missing information let's read the question a sample of river water is tested for pollutants complete the table to show the test observation and pollutant ion present in the sample so in case of aluminum ion white precipitates are formed soluble in excess what is the test add aqueous sodium hydroxide this is the reagent used and in case of chloride they have told about the test and they are asking uh, observation dilute nitric acid aqueous silver nitrate what will be observation white precipitate and by adding aqueous ammonia if light blue precipitate is formed that are soluble in excess giving dark blue solution can you guess the ion it must be cation so which cation copper ion to so the last one you have to write the test for sulfate ion and the observation so complete this table you can see this is of 5 marks similarly there is a little bit difference in the questions in different papers the questions are not always same therefore i am saying practice 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 will make you perfect in answering this question i hope that you have understand the topic thank you